in almost every worship service right at the beginning. There's a section where we all confess our sinfulness to God, and the pastor turns around, faces the altar, and he confesses his sins as well. And then the pastor turns back around, he faces the congregation, and he says something like this. Our Lord and God has heard your cry and has mercy on you for Jesus' sake. Because of his son's life, death, and resurrection, God purifies you from all impurity and sin. Therefore, hear the words of Christ, who is called servant. I forgive you all your sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Really focus on that phrase, I forgive you your sins. The question is, does the pastor actually have authority to forgive people's sins? And the answer to that question is yes, but maybe not for the reason that you think. I'll take you to uh, John chapter 20, where Jesus on Easter Sunday appears to his disciples and shows them that he is alive. And one of the things that he says to them is this phrase. He tells them, if you forgive anyone's sins, their sins are forgiven. If you do not forgive them, they are not forgiven. So what Jesus is telling the disciples is you now have the authority. You have authority from me to go out and forgive people's sins. Now, the key is, who is Jesus talking to here? Is he just talking to pastors? And the answer to that would be no. Right? He's talking to his disciples. Uh, and so the Bible teaches that all Christians have the authority to forgive sins. Uh, this is something that Jesus gives to us. And what we call this in the Lutheran Church is we call this the ministry of the keys. Maybe you remember that if you were taught uh, catechism in our schools, uh, the keys. So Jesus says in another place that you have the authority to lock or unlock heaven for people. Uh, if you forgive someone's sins, if they, are, uh, if they repent of their sins, you have the authority to tell them that your sins are forgiven and you unlock heaven for them. If someone does not repent, then you tell them that your sins are not forgiven uh, and you lock heaven to them. Uh, and so again, Jesus is giving to his whole church, uh, all of his people, the authority to forgive sins. And that means, uh, let's say you're a parent and your kid uh, does something wrong and they say, I'm sorry, what are you able to do? You're able to say, I forgive you your sins. And not just that you forgive them, but you're conveying to them that God has forgiven that sin too, because Jesus died for it. Right? What a wonderful thing Jesus gives to his people, the ability, the authority to forgive sins on behalf of Christ. Here's what Martin Luther said about this. Uh, he's talking about uh, Christians telling other Christians their sins are forgiven. He says, I believe that when this is done, it is as valid and certain in heaven also as if Christ, our dear Lord, dealt with us himself. And so when that pastor turns around and he tells you, I forgive you your sins, you can trust that your sins are forgiven. It's like Jesus was saying that to you himself. The pastor can do this not because he's so great or because he has a special call. The pastor says this because Jesus says this, your sins really are forgiven. I hope that answers your question. Uh, feel free to email me with further questions. God bless you.